So I'm starting on um, sewing the uh, the panel together. So basically making all the pieces come together as one sail. And um, I have been sewing uh, the two lower uh, panels together that will be in panel number 9 and 10. And uh, I have to make a pocket for the for the batten. And that is um, basically the same fabric as uh, the other but it's um, it's uh, 40 centimeters or one feet and uh, four inches or something like that and um, it's uh, it's gonna be some holes in it because first of all they have to go a line around the mast so uh, one feet from the front of the sail there will be nothing and then there will be uh, four feet with um, with a, a pocket and then one feet without and then there will be um, four meters uh, I'm not sure what that will be in feet, but uh, that will be like 13 feet and something, whatever. And then one feet at the end of the sail uh, with nothing uh, also. So uh, that is um, what I'm doing now. And um, I'm not sure you can see it on the camera, but it's um, it's quite bulky. Uh, so um, it's... Um, it's new land for me. Um, I have never done anything remotely like this. So I just have to see how it's uh, gonna work. And um, there's two variations. The one is making two or three panels together and then take them away and then make two or three panels together as, uh, as part project so that I first in the end have to work with a large bulky sail and the other version is just keep on sewing pieces on and then it's get more and more bulky but then again <clears throat> i also get um, get more used to handle the bulky stuff so to say so um, i think i just start sewing on and then now i have two pieces together and when the pocket is on i add the next one and if that goes fine i just keep on going that i i, I think and then if i get up on, on seven pieces and i find it's too bulky to handle then I might just start from the top and go downwards and then get it together. We have to see. When uh, something keeps going wrong and uh, it's the same thing that keeps going wrong, then you are some, you are at some point probably doing something wrong. Uh, by this point, uh, when the the thread or the the line that is uh, underneath is there cannot be much on the on the roll. Uh, on on this, when I have to make the long stitch, I have to um, roll it up like two times or three times for only making one uh, time down and I was running out of the line underneath and uh, then you have to put the, um, the line back on the top and somehow I didn't make it correctly so it was keep blocking underneath and uh, when some the machine is too uh, too small for this job actually and um, it's only going uh, on goodwill probably because um, it's actually a job for a real professional machine but I don't have one of those. Um, so first I was thinking okay it's a little hard we have to go through uh, six or eight layers at some point because at some point I have been folded the, the fabric around and uh, at that point it um, it's uh, six layers or something and uh, there's three layers of uh, of this uh, double um, sticky stuff tape that I'm putting in between so it's also not that easy to push through so first I was thinking okay this is maybe uh, on the 
on the edge of what the machine are capable of. And, and then I was noting that the line was not sitting correct and fixing it and now it's run like a well-oiled engine again. So I'm quite impressed, impressed with that machine. So uh, yeah, it's uh, actually when, when mistakes start happens and they happens again, then the f mistake is usually by the operator. In this case, just prove it again and again. <laughs> so now I have to put the 4 meter piece on and uh, that's going to be exciting because it's a very large uh, piece and I have to fold it so there's some tension in, in the fabric. So I'm, I'm uh, quite... Um, it's interesting to see if the tape is going to hold it or I have to put two lines of tape on or whatever. Yes. I mark it with two inches um, and that is uh, that one coming on the underside and that is to see how far in I have to, to push it and then when I fold it around I um, I make the marker on on this side uh, and that is to see uh, I have a marker on, on the on the panels but it's just to see how far out I have to go with the sewing so um, yeah So, um, now the pocket is on, and now I have to, this was panel number 10 and number 9, and number 10 is at the bottom and number 1 is at the top, so now I have to um, add number 8, so that is going to be interesting to, uh, to get connected. Um, yeah, I'll see how we're going to do that. Here's a coming the number in, but because all the panels uh, is marked at the, the front top corner and the bottom of number 8 have to be connected to the top of number 9. So uh, now I just have to find number 9 and then like somehow get rid of number 10. Uh, probably gonna throw it on the floor or something like that and uh, then I can put number 8 on top of number 9 and then here we go again.